Hey guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly. And today in this video I'm going to show how to install Windows 11 on Apple Macs without bootcamp. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And now let's begin. For this tutorial, I'll be using the Apple's Mac Mini late 2018 model. And at the moment, let me tell you that neither this Mac Mini nor any other Apple computer supports Windows 11 installation. Also, for your information, Apple Macs with Apple Silicon doesn't support Windows. This is the easiest possible way to install Windows 11 on Apple Intel Macs with no ISO modification, no ISO conversion, and also no more errors as it shows after using Bootcamp. So for installing Windows 11 on Mac, you'll need Windows 11 ISO, Bombardier for downloading Bootcamp drivers, one USB with a minimum of 8 GB, and a working internet connection for downloading the required files and drivers. All the download links will be under the video description. To download Windows, open the link provided and, then scroll bit down. Now from the drop-down, select Windows 11, then click on Download Now. After your request is validated, select your language, then click on Confirm. After your request is validated, click on 64-bit download and, your download will begin. While it's being downloaded, open the Bombardier link and, then, open the latest release and, from here, download the DMG file. After the files are downloaded, close your browser. Now you'll need to look for your Max model identifier for downloading the correct sets of drivers. To check your model identifier, open system information from the spotlight search. In my case, it's Mac Mini 8.1. After getting the model identifier, close system information. Now open Bombardier. And after it opens, you'll be greeted with an updating dialog. Click on Close. Now in the Bombardier window, click on the filter checkbox and, then from the drop-down, select your Mac lineup. Now from here, select your Mac model, according to your Mac's model identifier. Now, click on the download button, to download the drivers. After the driver is downloaded and extracted, you'll have the DMG file, with the drivers inside. Now, close all. Now open the disk utility, and here select the main drive instead of any partition, and then click on partition. Now click on plus to make a new partition of your drive, allocate a partition according to your need, and to make a difference, make the sizes unequal. After that click on apply, then partition and wait for some time until partitioning is done. After the partitioning is done, plug your USB. After the USB appears, erase the USB with the following parameters. Now click on Done and close the disk utility. Now mount Windows 11 ISO and copy whole files and folders and paste it to your USB. Wait until the copy gets finished.
After copying is done, close the mounted ISO folder. And now, you'll need to keep the downloaded bootcamp driver in the USB. Now from the bootcamp DMG, copy all the files and folders and create a folder inside the USB and name it to drivers or whatever you want and paste the copied stuff to the created folder on USB. And now everything is done. Close all and eject all mounted images and USB as well. And now restart your Mac and while restarting, press and hold the option key on your keyboard. From here, select the EFI boot and press the enter key to boot. Here you can see, booting from an external media gives the security error on few Macs. To fix this, click on restart and, while restarting, press and hold option or alt key on your keyboard. Now after getting this screen, press and hold the command plus R key on your keyboard and, wait until your Mac starts up from Mac OS recovery. If you're asked to select a user you know the password for, select the user, click next, and then enter their administrator password. When you see the macOS Utilities window, click on Utilities from the menu bar and, then select Startup Security Utility from the menu bar. When you're asked to authenticate, click Enter macOS Password, then choose an administrator account and enter as password. Now here from the Startup Security Utility, in the Secure Boot section, select the last option, No Security and, from the Allowed Boot Media section, select the last option, Allow Booting from External or Removal Media. After making the changes here, close the Startup Security Utility and, restart your Mac. And now you'll be able to boot your Mac from external media. From here, select the EFI boot and press the enter key to boot. Now after reaching the Windows 11 installer screen, proceed with the installer. Now after getting this error, press Shift plus the F10 key on your keyboard to launch the command prompt. Now in the command prompt window type reg edit, and hit enter to launch the registry editor. Here, navigate to the following path. Now create a new registry key under setup and name it lab config. To create a registry key, right click in the right window pane and select new, then key. Then enter the key name. Now within lab config, create dword values called bypass tpm check, bypass ram check, and bypass secure boot check, and set each value data to 1. To create a new word value, right click in the right window and select new word 32 bit value, then name the key, double click to open it and set it to 1. Here I have created only a single dword value, as TPM is only missing on my device, however, it's recommended to create all the dword values listed, to avoid any error. After creating the values, close all, and click on, the go back arrow on the installer window, and then continue. Here, select the partition you created, and then click on delete. After that, select the unallocated partition and click on next. And as you can see Windows 11 is being installed.
and the Windows 11 setup screen is here. Set up your Windows 11 accordingly. When you're at this screen, if you have a Microsoft account, sign in using that, or if you don't have a Microsoft account, you can create one. Or if you want to use a local account instead Microsoft account, just proceed with the following credentials. After using the provided credentials, you'll receive an error, just click on next, then proceed with the setup.
And now you can see, finally Windows 11 is here. Now you'll need to install the drivers. So open your USB, then open the drivers folder, then open the bootcamp folder and run the setup file, and proceed with the installer. After the installation is done, click on finish to finish the bootcamp installation. After installing drivers and the successful restart, make sure to check for the latest updates from Windows Updates, install all the updates, and restart your Mac if necessary for installing the drivers.
Now after restart, search for Apple Software Update and open it. Now select all the listed updates, and click on Install. Click on Yes to finish the update process. And now let me show you the Windows version, specification, the necessary functions, and switching from Windows to Mac and from Mac to Windows. As of now, Windows 11 is successfully installed alongside macOS. Switching between both OS also works perfectly. So, that was it, hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below, thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.